To a child, often the box a toy came in is more appealing than the toy itself. We all know by now that Australian retail is struggling. There have been lots of big-name shops closing down of late, but what often goes underreported are those small local businesses that are steadily going bust. Case in point, my local kids' stuff. It's one of those so-called educational toy stores with the slogan, Kids' Stuff for a Brighter Child. I've never much liked the idea of toys being touted as educational or being able to make your kid smarter. It sounds very much like a marketing gimmick to me, but I can understand why some parents are drawn in by it. Anyway, a couple of years ago, one of these stores opened up locally, and of course I decided to take the children down for a look-see. I saw a wooden dolls pram for sale for like $110, and a few other overpriced items, so I immediately turned around and took the kids elsewhere. A wooden pram at Kmart is like $29. OK, they're not exactly the same, you could argue about quality and all the rest of it, but ultimately, you're giving your three-year-old a toy pram. Are they really going to care either way? Similarly, a kitchen set, $200 at Kids Stuff or $89 at Kmart. Again, not exactly the same thing, but in terms of educational qualities, is one really better than the other? I don't think so. When we were kids, we played with actual pots and pans that our parents didn't use anymore. We certainly didn't have expensive kitchen play sets. So the other day, I walked past kids' stuff and saw that there were tons of people inside. There was a sign out the front saying, Closing down sale, 70% off store-wide, everything must go. My son was like, Dad, can we go in, please? I said, OK, OK, but I'm not promising that we'll get anything. There were about 20 or 30 people lined up with trolleys full of toys. There was only one staff member on duty at the cash register. Well, there was only one cash register. My son found something that he wanted to get for him and his sister. They were these ball-like objects that supposedly contained five individual toys. Unfortunately, there were no prices on them, and I couldn't exactly go and ask the only staff member who was struggling to keep up at the cash register. So I just got in line, thinking that they couldn't be too expensive. I asked my son how much he thinks they might be, and he said they should be around $5 normal price. I said that because it's a bit of an expensive shop, we should probably round that up to say $8 or $10. So with a 70% discount, I was expecting them to cost at most $3 each. After a few kind people let us go ahead of them because they saw that we had so little, we got within earshot of the register. A lady ahead of us literally had an overflowing trolley. She had about 40 or 50 toys inside. They ended up costing her something like $420. I was like, what the hell is she doing? I guess she was buying up big so she didn't ever have to buy Christmas presents for her grandchildren ever again. Finally, it was our turn, and the girl at the register was clearly stressed out of her mind. She was complaining about her scanner not working properly, and how the system was really slow. I guess it's probably the most work she's ever done. I asked her how much these balls were, and after typing in a few numbers, she told me $3.90 each. I asked her if that was the discounted price or the full price, and she said the discounted one. She showed me her monitor, and said the original price was $13. I had already been in line for like half an hour, so against my better judgement, I just bought the damn things. My son was so excited, I'd never bought anything like this for him before. We went and picked up his sister and went home. They madly opened up the balls, and inside there were these five orange-like segments with one toy in each. Here's what my son got. A ninja figurine, a zombie brain, a crappy felt-tip pen, and a poorly constructed car. The pièce de résistance was a segment full of slime. My son opened it up and said, Dad, this feels awful. I want to wash it off. It was literally a one-use slime. I was like, what a joke. I can't believe they were actually selling these at one point for $13 each. Would anybody have ever bought them for that price? To be fair to the company, probably half that price goes towards their rent. These shopping centres aren't exactly known for being fair to retailers. But then I thought to myself, if you're selling crappy toys for overinflated prices, do you really expect to be successful? When I got home, I checked online to see how much these balls were elsewhere. The same thing was selling at Target for $4. So at $3.90, I essentially got a $0.10 cent discount. Win. 
The fact that in the same shopping centre you can get similar toys for half the price, I just don't see what people are thinking when they buy these types of businesses. I guess they imagined swarms of educated parents coming in every weekend and buying overpriced educational toys for their young Einsteins. But in the end, as with most mass retail, price wins. If Kmart or Target are cheaper than you, then people will flock to them. Perhaps this story is a good metaphor for Australian retail. Cheap imported toys and a handful of slime.